Today I would like to talk about uh, pudendal nerve. And um, we have seen some pudendal nerve mediated pain for uh, unexplained reason, but you will never diagnose it unless you do a pelvic exam. So when you do a pelvic exam, whether it's a rectal exam, uh, feeling from below and and going out with the tip of the finger to push on the pudendal nerve. Now the pudendal nerve comes from S23 and comes from inside the pelvis over the iliosacral or sacroiliac uh, ligament. It comes outside and hooks around and comes back and innovate the uh, uh, pelvic structures. And it is typically very easily palpated when you feel for the iliac spine here uh, inside the pelvis. In order to have a diagnostic block after feeling the pain, um, fluoroscopic guidance is used rotate the C-arm into a straight anterior posterior position and then you rotate towards the painful side until and that sort of enhances the uh, iliac spine to be brought into uh, view. So once you recognize the structure then because we are using a, a blunt Coude, curved blunt needle. It's not easy to push through the skin. Not impossible, but almost impossible. So you just go with a introducing cannula close to the target, take the metal needle out, and then we take the appropriate size and length blunt needle, curve it, and touch the iliac spine and you rotate a little bit cephalad and you may be in contact with the nerve and reproduce the pain and put the local anesthetic steroid on the nerve and you can go distally and inject the other side as well. This injection is followed by great pain relief and if the pain does come back, you may repeat it, but if there is no long-lasting result, then we switch to the uh, original RF, the Ratz Finch uh, needle, which is an uninsulated, radio tipped radio frequency needle of various active tips. I like the 10 millimeter active tip, but for some things we use 15 millimeters, but here the 10 is fine. So again, I, I come down with the curved radio frequency needle and steer the needle by the curved tip, cephalid, stimulate, find the nerve, and then we pulse it. Pulse radio frequency 42 degrees. Uh, three cycles, six minutes. Uh, then we pull back and you go distally and pick off the nerve at this point and, and pulse it there again. And then for the, before the third cycle, inject some local anesthetic steroid. And um, that has been one of the very useful uh, techniques. Now, you really don't want to kill the uh, pudendal nerve. Uh, it does have uh, uh, functions and I uh, don't like any idea of doing any permanent neurolytic uh, procedure, be that radio frequency or uh, cryo or any neurolytic substance. Pulse radio frequency has given us hope and beginning. Now if it doesn't work then we uh, consider the use of sacral electrodes. Uh, retrograde and with the RX CUDE 2 needle, uh, we've been able to get the electrode from the L5S1 um, near uh, a little bit lateral of midline 
and you can get the electrode to cover the S23 nerve roots and stimulating the actual painful nerve roots. And that has been uh, a very useful technique.